good morning. Would you stand with us? Let's sing to our God this morning. Top of grace, more than I've asked for, more than I'm worth. Grace on top of grace, how sweet, how sweet the sound. Once lost, now found. Heaven came down, grace rescued me. sin and penalty at the cross you took my place with your grace on top of grace thankful for all that God has done. Let's sing about that this morning. Put your hands together and let's give Him praise. This is the day, this is the day you have made. Whatever comes, I won't complain. For all my hope is in your name. Now your joy awaits my praise. Let's it up, we give thanks. Come on. I give thanks for all you have done. And I will sing of your mercy and your love. Your love is unfailing. Lord, I am grateful. When I was down. When I was down, you brought me out. You set my feet on higher ground. So here I stay. You are my God. Your faithfulness, my solid rock. Oh, I give thanks for all you.
today. As we lift our hands, the heavens open. It's called to Him. And as we lift our hands, the heavens open, heavens open. So let our lives declare the love our God has spoken over us. And as we lift our somebody, introduce yourself to someone new, tell them where you're from. Go. Well, good morning. I'm Melissa. I'm from Colchester. Hopefully you met somebody new. Today, if you didn't, I'm your new person, if you needed one. Anyway, nice to meet you. We're so glad you're here this morning. We have quite a few announcements. First of all, we're really excited that the month of October is a month that we're going to be providing meals at a new place. When you leave the lab, out right directly outside the doors in the lobby, you'll see Bobby there with a table, and there's nine more, nine more meals in the month of October that we need to fill. So. My hubby and I, we've done, well, I should say my husband, and I stand around in support because he does all the cooking, but um, we've prepared a meal on our own, and also we've done it with uh, my sister and her husband, and again, her husband does all the cooking. So basically, our husbands have made meals, but we smile and bring it in. Um, and so um, it's something, you, it's very doable, and let me tell you, it's not you giving, you're, and, and that's all that's happening. You are getting back so much blessing from this. Every time that we've provided a meal, it has just been so awesome. So if you haven't done it, you should do it. No pressure, but you should sign up. So today, out there. Also, we have next Saturday, the 28th from 6 to 9, everybody's invited to the Wells Third Wellness Meetup. It's entitled Faith, Food, and the Gut-Brain Connection. It's from 6 to 9 down in the community center in the gym. You're going to want to bring a yoga mat and some clothes for working out. And it is free, but they'd love to know how many people are going to come, so please register on the Planning Center app. If you haven't gotten that yet, go ahead and download it on your phone. It's really easy. You can do it here on the church Wi-Fi. You know, go. <laughs> Actually, pay attention to the announcements first and then do it. Um, so, men, next week, men's ministry kickoff this Friday. If you're a golfer, Friday at 1 o'clock at Links here in Essex, you can join for a golf scramble. I don't know what that means, but you do if you're a golfer. And then, whether you golf or not, you're invoid, invited to join back here at the community center for a steak dinner at 6 o'clock. And there's also a table set up in the lobby, so men, stop by there today to find out more info. Next Sunday is M25. So, right now, I do give you permission. Take out your phone. I'm such a high school teacher. I don't have to give you permission. You don't have to listen to me. It's okay. You're not my students. Um, but you could put on, if you wanted to, I'm not giving you directions, um, but you could put on your calendar. Um, next Saturday night or Sunday morning. If you're like me, I'll never remember. And then fill up a bag, either from your pantry or run over to the store, which is usually what happens to me. I get here and then I run to the store and get a bag and bring it back full next week for M25. 
And then you might have noticed the big bin out there with a Halloween lookish, looking ish uh, decoration on it. That is for Trunk or Treat, which is happening at our North Avenue campus this year on Halloween. If you, how many participated in that last year? Anybody here do a trunk? Yeah, was it fun? Yeah, so you should do it. If you have never done it, it's so much fun to decorate your trunk. Go on out to the North Avenue campus. And the great news is we usually have donations of candy and toys, so they'll give you those and then you pass them out. It's a wonderful community event. We'd love to have you be part of it. And there's prizes awarded and bragging rights if you, I'm assuming for the best trunk, which if you like to be a winner, like me, you should compete. Okay, um, and lastly, that was supposed to be funny. Yeah, okay, good. Um, and then lastly, if you're new here, um, first of all, I'm sorry that it's me. You're gonna be more sorry in a minute when I tell my joke. But um, uh, usually there's a less animated person up here. Um, but uh, you've got me today. And I'm super happy you're here. And <laughs> uh, no, I'm just, my, my sons aren't here right now, but they're like, Mom, you're just too much when you do announcements. It's really embarrassing. So um, if you're a parent of a teenager and feel my pain, then they're not here, so I can say it now. Next service, I won't. Um, we have a welcome gift for you today. We'd love if you're visiting with us, stop by the front desk. We have a present for you. Now, for my joke, in honor of today being a special day, and yes, you should laugh at the end of the joke. Okay, here we go. What do you call a cheese that's not your own? Nacho cheese, yes, thank you. Yeah, okay. Good, and I have the honor today. Um, as you know, we have the kickoff at the North Avenue campus happening the first Sunday of October. And in the midst of this month, you might have noticed that we've had a new worship team member, and her name is Ashley Simpson. No, not that Ashley Simpson. This Ashley Simpson. Uh, And um, Ashley is going to be the worship leader at our North Ave campus. So we want to introduce her. And also, I have a special connection. Uh, three years ago, Ashley was my student teacher. And um, I think the world of her. And I remember it was one of the first week, I think she was there. And we're sitting, I'm sitting at my desk, she was sitting across from me. And I look over at her laptop and I see a couple things open on her laptop. And I think, hmm, maybe she's a believer. So anyway, after a little bit, I look at her and I, she had like an Oswald Chambers quote or something and like newsboys open on Spotify or something. And I was like, hey, are, are you a believer? And she's like, yes, are you? And I was like, yes. And it was just a wonderful four months that we got to spend together. And um, she's a wonderful woman of God. And I'm so pleased that she's going to be part of our church here and our extended campus. And so... Ashley Simpson is going to be leading our next song. Would you please stand here in the video cafe? You were the word at the beginning One with God
Let's sing of his greatness today. Let's sing it. He's worthy. Worthy of every song we could ever sing. Lift your voice. Worthy of all the praise we could ever bring. You're worthy of every breath we could ever breathe. We live for you. Sing his name, Jesus, the name above all names. Jesus, the name above every other name. Jesus, the only one who could ever say.
Jesus, your name is above all names. We declare that today, God, that you are, you are greater than us. Lord, we thank you so much for all that you've done in our lives, for all that you've yet to do. God, we thank you for this firm foundation that we can find in your love. Lord, would you help us to find it today? It's in your name we pray, Jesus. Amen. Go ahead and grab a seat.